Hey guys, I hope you won't be you won't begrudge me too much for reloading, but it is literally only two days before the time that I saved, and I'm not at war now. So I realized my mistake before. I realized a couple of mistakes. Um, I do need another army in the Balkans. That that, that really is true. Um, thank you to the man who man the guy who suggested that. Um, and I also need a larger army. I, ha I have the economy to support it. I have the support limit to support it. I don't know why I haven't built it yet. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have eight. Okay, so we need to build the Legio Noem right now. Keep this guy. I remember he was pretty good, so... We need the Legio Noem. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, come on, frames. Come on, frames. Alright, now, come on, come on. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three. I do think that Turkey and Anatolia is going to be my area for Legion creation. Uh, just because it's such a large area and works so well for that kind of thing. Oh yeah, and if you look at Russia, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the Russian army, tiny, non-existent. You look at this, ledger, go to their um, army, go to Russia, 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 1,000 men. The army is tiny, and they're going to go completely bankrupt out of this, as I, I suspect. And go to income, we have the largest income in the world by leaps and bounds. If we go to national statistics... Our most profitable um, province with taxing is actually Liguria. With production, it's Ferrera. With tariffs, it's Alania. Um, and what you guys have said is that I need to connect my empires, you know, Italy to the rest of it. So I need to take Fruili, Gors, and Carvo Caros, this place, um, to get the full benefit of my. Uh, provinces over here, because they're all distant over distant overseas provinces, and I don't want distant overseas provinces. Provinces, I want you know closer to home provinces. Now wait until these guys are all finished, and I'm also going to spend more time focusing on. I'm going to spend a few years focusing on internal things. And uh, actually, I should probably send some colonies up here. Not colonies, uh, missionaries to the richest provinces up here. But, oh well. Let's finish building the artillery. Well, I'm thinking about it, guys. Um, look up Co uh, Cosmos by Carl Sagan. It's a genius series. Ah, uh, Kuban. Where's Kuban? Oh, there. Yay. All right. Let us just unite the Legio 10. And someone uh, noted that the members of the legions wouldn't like being called. You know, if a if a legion was destroyed, they wouldn't. Another legion wouldn't mind. Wouldn't like to be renamed after that one. Um, Legio, Legio. No, it was nine, wasn't it? It was nine. Legio nine. Um, yeah, I could see your point. In you know, I they didn't do that historically. I don't think, but. Um, screw history. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Alright. Let us... What now? What's our mission, actually? Protect against Bohemia. Alright. So, how big is Bohemia's army? 208,000. Alright, we can beat that. Oh, we can demolish that. No, our, um... 
naval support limit isn't as massive as it as I mean as tiny as it once was. So we can actually support a larger navy now. That's good. All right. Let us. All right, conversion successful. Send another one to Ferrera because that is one that is very um, profitable. Look at that, 109. All of these are very profitable places. Romagna and Ferrera are really, really good. I'll send it to Romagna first. Wow. <laughs> New advisor, whatever. Yeah, we're making a lot of money. So we need to build at least one more legion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. And someone mentioned why I'm not building uh, more buildings to increase my uh, income. That is a fantastic point. I'm stupid and should be do and should be doing this. So we'll put a mint here, a that there, a constable there, production. Hold on. Uh, we don't need counting houses there. We need treasury there. Yeah. Mint there. Yeah. All right, and that'll do us fine for now. We need to look, look at this. When these buildings are finished, um, it's gonna really bring in our, our economy. It's really gonna skyrocket it. And someone mentioned that they that I could um, change the name of provinces. Um, I'm well aware of that. I've already done that in this series. I changed Ro Rome to Roma. So I'm, I'm aware of that. And someone mentioned that I forgot to take Crimea in the war. I didn't forget, I just didn't feel like it. In a previous war that I uh, was in, they just commented on it. I don't like uh, replying to comments. Um, how good is this guy, actually? I need to pay attention to this. Oh, he's good, so I'll keep him. I don't like replying to comments in the um, uh, comment board thing. Oh, yay. And look at this. Before, it was 109. Or it was something. I think it should change now. It should. Come on. Come on. We should get more because it's a good. It's the right religion. Or am I completely stupid about that? All right. And tariffs are taken from overseas provinces. So. Okay. I do need to take Cyprus. Someone asked if I could support. Um, revolts in Cyprus, maybe to revolt to me. Uh, let me see my see if I can find my navy. It's right there. We can just go over there and see how strong they are. They have a level three fort, so it'd take forever. It starts out with a level two fort, I believe, but I could do it. I think. Um, no, no, I could not. But I could support fanatics because they are Catholic and their only province is or province is Orthodox. Hmm. Where's the rest of Of course, of course. All right. Let's see. They only have 4,000 men. So if I could support several fanatics. Time and time again. Come on. I only have a 16% chance of, of succeeding. So I'm not expecting great things. Come on, one more. I actually need one more to succeed. And I think I can do it. Ugh. Oh, we're winning, though. We're winning. Oh. Sexy Lauenberg is now Orthodox. Is it? It said it was. Sexy Lauenberg is up here. Somewhere. Right? Yeah, right here? Yeah. They're not Orthodox. Lies. I mean, I guess they're both Christians, but... Um, that shouldn't be enough to improve our relations. The Legio Decim. 
Nice. Now, you move there. You move there. We're going through a massive reconstruction of the military with the aim of maybe taking down Bohemia. I also need to do, recruit some more generals. One more. There we go. All pretty decent. Let's, uh, they won the battle here, but oh well. And we can build more buildings. So let's see. We'll do the tax buildings first, so... You know what? Um, we do need to build a counting house to be able to build the other tax buildings, so... We'll do that. Heretics are converted. Nice, nice. France took down Huastec. And someone uh, recommended me taking down France like soon um, because of their massive overseas empire. Um, yeah, yeah, I need to. But someone also informed me. Now here's the cool thing, is that if a nation's capital is by itself, as in there's no other of its territories surrounding it, and uh, it's not next to the ocean, uh, you can demand it in a peace deal. So... We'll see how that goes. They're allied with a lot of people. You know, I'm, I was talking about Milan. They said it in, in reference to Milan. But, um, it really could work with just about any of these nations. Because there's not many nations that have a, uh, coastal, uh, um, that's what I'm looking for, capital. So, and look at that. Look at that technology, folks. That's just beyond sexy. Dutch Africa. Hmm. You know, it, 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 like if you look at like just our nation compared to Africa, if Africa was like unified under one nation, it'd be like one of the largest nations in the game. Obviously, if Asia was unified under one nation, it'd be even bigger. Asia being the largest continent, but you know, whatever. It just amazes me how big Africa actually is. Like no one ever realizes it. It's bigger than like you could fit South America inside of Africa. I think. If I fit North America inside of it as well. Just because this, this area is right here is huge. Oops. Tabbed out. But yeah. I hope you guys don't begrudge me for um, reloading. It just... Um, I don't know. It just didn't seem like uh, it'd be uh, a good idea to continue where I was going. Because, you know, I care about, you know, being like legitimate and doing things the right way. But I also care more about being, um, you know, a, a good, entertaining guy. It's in them there. Let me just fix something. There we go. And we will soon take over Bohemia as the number one nation in the world. I'm going to wait for these buildings to be finished. Watch. You look at this. 19 days. We, our economy currently brings us 569 per year. Watch this. Now it's 566, right? Now it's 592. It jumped up by 30 just by building those buildings. 30 per year just by building those little buildings. Once we build these mint, these, these mints and these counting houses, it's going to go up in even more. Oh, and we converted them really quickly. That's nice. Alright, so we need to get some of these places pretty quick. We're running out of time. Yeah. Running out of time in some of these places. Mainly in Trent and in Aquilia. Alania becomes uh, something. Whatever. I'm not too worried about that. It's gonna you know it's gonna happen that, but in a few years the religious fervor is gonna die die down, then it won't be a problem anymore and everything will be fine. Keep this guy, he's good. No. There we go. Keep this guy. There we go. And level 3 statesman. Skipone. Skippy. Skippy. Skippion. Skippion. Borge Hesse. Nah. Like I've said, I'm not big on advisors except when I need. When, except when I, you know, want to hire them myself. Like if I, I have a specific need for them. So right now we have 10 legions. Sweet. More Greekness. 
in Debika Bar, right there. All right. Nice. All right, now we just need to. Um, more heretics can voted. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna wait till these buildings are built. And I look at it now. It's 598. A few days. It's uh, 602. And I think it should go up even more after in a second. 609. Yep. So those buildings really are helping. And these mints are gonna. Oof. Those are gonna help. So I'm gonna wait for that to happen. And I think I'm gonna go on another. Um, expansion of the military. I really don't need any any troops in this area. If they're just really not necessary. So I think I might build one more legion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. All right. Just sow a thousand flowers. All right. All right now, currently, uh, six hundred ten. But wait for these, uh, for one thing, wait for the mints to be built, and then wait for the armies to be built. Alright, 606, 649. Nice, 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 nice. So we're still making money, all things considered. Now we need to focus more on... Yep, Venezia can build a mint. Um, Kuban can build a workshop. Roma can build a treasury. Adrianople can build a treasury. Optimai can build a mint. You can send some more of these guys. Where's a rich province? I need a rich province. Friends, you'll do. You're a rich province. Convert the rich provinces first, of course. Because I do believe that gives you more money in the long run. Come on, fanatics. Damn. Okay, now we've cut our money in half in only in, in only a few years, but we've also expanded our military by leaps and bounds, which is good. It's very good. I saw it and it was good. I said, "Let there be legions," and there were legions. All right. The legio, or legio, legio. Undekim. Nice. Head over there. Filling up the Balkans with legions upon legions of men. Alright. Hmm. Put a mint there in Treviso. Yeah, we're not. And now we're making um, an insane amount of money at the end of the year. It's absolutely crazy. Actually, I should have built two two buildings. Why didn't I? There we go. Yeah, our money's going to skyrocket because of this building. Thank you to rem for reminding me, whoever said it. I was being incredibly stupid. Oh, here we go. Gain. I'll get the... That. Okay. New Admiral. Didn't really need an Admiral, but... Because I won't ever use him. <laughs> oh, but he's good. Nice. I've never seen, like, I wish there there was a game that made naval combat interesting. You could argue that there, it's kind of interesting in the Total War games, but not really. Not really, folks. It's not interesting at all. Not to me, at least. Alright, let's see. What's the next level of building we can build after... Actually, look in Constantinopolis, which is still our most advanced city, I believe. Uh, production. The next one is Stock Exchange, which will give us tax income plus five. That, my friends, that's that's pretty cool. 
So I think that's the next thing we're going to do is build a tax tax exchange, a stock exchange in Constantinopolis, which is now ungodly rich. Let's see, it makes Constantinopolis makes 166, Venezia makes 109, and Genoa makes. 203 so Genoa is our richest province so we'll put the stock exchange there there next though it's completely it's completely through production not um not anything else just production it just out produces Constantinopolis which does have and it also has higher tax for some reason interesting you can go in there and be you know super specific about everything in the game and look at all the all the things, but at the end of the day, as long as you know, as long as you um, know where you're rich and why you're rich, uh, you don't have any problem really. All right, here we go. I'm gonna build. Can, I, can you build a building while you're? No, you can't do a building. Build a building while you're converting. So I thought that was kind of stupid, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. They don't want you to do. T Ooh. Yes. Yes, please. Yep, see now stock exchanges are rolling in. And despite our massive military, we're still making a bunch of money per year. And it's going to increase in just a second. Watch this. 590 to 608. Yep. It just increased. By quite a bit. So we need we could probably go through another expansion of our military. Like well, Maybe one more legion. That might actually be... Our, get our boat mission to beat Bohemia. You have to have a small. They have to have a smaller army than us. And it, theirs is currently at two hundred fifty thousand. So they do keep expanding it quite quite quickly. They are expanding their military. So we just have to. I guess we have to out tech them. We can't. Um, I'm not sure if we can outman them. We just, I think we're just gonna have to out tech them. Let's see. If I invested everything in land tech, how much? It would en enable better cavalry. All right. It'll be finished in well this year actually. So we'll do that. Now we'll look at our incomes again. I want to see who has the biggest income in the world. It's yeah, ours has gone up by at least a thousand over the last like. 10 eight, 10 ish years that we've been playing for this round. Production efficiency. Um, highest in the world is the Netherlands. Trade efficiency. Highest in the world is the Netherlands. But income stability, ours is, you know, the highest it can be. Legitimacy, uh, ours is the highest it can't well we don't have a legitimacy actually. Prestige. Actually, does it even show you on the thing if you don't have legit no it doesn't. If you don't have a monarchy or hereditary rule then it doesn't show your um, legitimacy or it shows you but you know what I mean we have pretty high prestige you know 63 is not bad infamy the highest in the world is Pegu really not someone oh look at Russia getting torn apart by rebels I could foresee a golden horde riding, rising again in a few years I don't know what happened to their army I really don't I meant to build another legion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Two and three. All right. Still making plenty of money per year. Still making plenty of money. About to finish this counting house, which will do, make it even better. And we converted the heretics in Calabria. Nice. Ah, this is a really nice period of peace, folks. I think I should do these more often. Like I'm usually, um, you know, all big on like expanding really quickly and everything. But I think I should have more periods of where I just kind of sit back and relax, because, you know, aw, general died, oh well. You know, sometimes it's just, oh sweet, we just got a buttload of awesome provinces who are going to 
bring in way more income now, hopefully. It, no, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Anyway, this is going to be the Legio Duel Decking. So when they all get, uh, you know, got together. Alright. Oh, we can now build Gallop Cavalry. Alright, I need to end the part because it's getting getting time to end. But I'll rename the Legion. The Legio, I mean. Legio Duel Decking. Alright, send them over to Sophia. And enable Gallop Cavalry, who are far superior. All right, so now we completely out outmatch Bohemia in any kind of military war that we wanted to go in. Yeah, no one can stand can stand up to us in land tech. Anyway, folks, I'm out of time. So as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this kind of peaceful period. I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of a good building up phase. Anyway.